Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Hope you're all having a wonderful Tuesday, I think, as you'll be watching this. Uh, it is time for me to carry on with like the Rolfo SBC today, open up some more packs, hopefully get some more blues and purples in my club. That would be lovely. Let me get into the squad, show you what's what, and then we'll get onto those packs. If you do enjoy today, please do me a small favor, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, and if anyone saw something there which said Norwich clear, you're absolutely wrong, of course. Ipswich are 20 points ahead of you, let it be known. Um, yeah, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and follow me on social media, the links are down below. Uh, I've got a duplicate to use, so I'm going to try and work on either a Team of the Week player pick or another part of the Rolfo SBC. We'll see what I can get done. We have gone up three levels in the Season 4 Act 2 Mascot Madness season. I am going to go ahead and take uh, uh, go ahead and take Victoria here for my friend Alvaro, who I sit next to at home games, at Ipswich games, because he is a big old Benfica fan. So we're going to go ahead and take that one. And now we need to use Chris Smalling. We have two 85 times fours now, and then we got the 85 times seven chilling in the seasonal objectives. We are now in for a fun time here on the RTG. Give me some, I want a hero. I'd really love an FC hero or fantasy hero, whatever you want to call it. But we're seeing Bernardo Silva instead. Be a double, please. Ah, oh, it's not a double. Oh, the pain. The absolute pain. All right. Do I already own this card? Uh, yes, I do. But that's okay, because we've got plenty of squads on Rolfo to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and stick Bernardo Silva and Froms into uh, into a squad. Okay, this is the 87 rated squad for Rolfo. I have had to put one of my 89s in. I don't have as much top, top, top tier fodder as I thought I did. But I'm sure we'll get there with the daily SBCs and stuff. And hopefully with these next couple of packs. Welcome back, Bernardo. I wouldn't mind getting like a 90 or something in uh, in my next 84 times 5. That would be quite handy. This is going to be a Frimpong. Only about two months late. I could have got him as a totty. Damn it. And an 85 times 4. The second one we've opened here today. I'm seeing gold again. German. Centre mid. Tony Kroos. Tony Kroos and it is a double walkout. Come on, I'll take another Casemiro or something. Who's that? Oh, it's Kobel, isn't it? 87. 86 and 87. And 85 and 85. Eh, it's not the best, but we got a double walkout. I can't really complain. So we will take, of course, the 84 times 2, which is all right. There's potential to get something in that one. And then the level before it, which is one of three future stars... Or an 85 times 7. For me, is like the easiest choice ever. We're going for an 85 times 7. For the fodder, for the content, let's see what we get. It's just going to give me an English. All right back, Trent. Trent and double? No. Singular. So we can skip on through that one. Trent and Gabriel Jesus. And then time for the big one. Are we going to get anything good from this? An 85 times 7. For some reason, with a Team of the Year icon design on it, <laughs> I don't think I can get that in here. What are we going to get then? It's looking like it's gold. Ooh, it is a Chesney. Double walkout, of course. Chesney and... Who's that? Delict. That's 286's, friends. Wait, can there still be blue or purple cards in this? Because they show up at the back. Maybe? Please? Yeah, yeah there's two in here. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not the greatest of packs. The two blues are both 87s. But, um, yeah, like, in general, at least we got two for fantasy players from it. Or fantasy FC, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but in general, this is lowish rated for this pack. I would have liked a 90 or something. Uh, but we'll take uh, Pasqueru, who is a centre-back with 82 pace and aerial plus. Duplicate Matson and uh, Iago Aspas. Okay. 
Uh, team of the week player pick. I know we just put Matson into that, but I'm not too bothered about it. What are we going to get? Uh, Kvaric Shkelia, Upa Makano, or Joe Pereira. We're going to put 87 Kvaric Shkelia into our club. We have made five sales and we are up to 214,000 coins and we have Madri in our club as well. We are well on our way towards another, another big old pack in the store. That would be nice. That would be quite nice indeed. All right, so we've now got enough for the 87 rated squad, but it does tap me out of high rated golds. I think I'm now like 85 is the highest rated gold I've got in my club. So in order to get... Uh, Rolfo done. We need to we need to gather up an an 88 rated squad. Hopefully, over the next couple of days, I'll be able to get that. Uh, otherwise, I might have to dip into my coins and see what I can spend to get the card because I want her in my team asap. Uh, we get an 84 here. It's tradable, but we don't need to do anything with that. Might also whip up a few player picks. Oh, I've got 10 player picks here, friends. Sorry, I'm sort of low in my chair. I'm sitting. Sitting back and relaxing here. I'm hoping to get some high rated stuff to go into the final squad for Rolfo. Uh, it's not happening so far. <laughs> 82s across the board. Oh, an 83 Hummels. I'll take it. I've got to take anything at this point. Oh, and the other one's tradable. That's good. 83 a Cherby. Great. Um, can we get some 84s maybe? No, 83 Royce. All right, all right. Next up, we have 82. Yeah. Oh, man. These are tragic. These are absolutely tragic. Oh, triple 84s. We'll take Colo Moani as the only one I haven't got. Come on. 87. That's right. They're getting good towards the end. And one final one for a fantasy FC. Gr uh, regular gold Grimaldo. Actually ended up being not the worst batch, but uh, I've certainly had better. Um, both of these are tradable. That's what you love to see. It makes my life easier. So switching it over to me, green screen lasty, for the rest of this episode. I hope we're all doing well. Um, yeah, I feel a bit weird wearing my Ipswich Town blue and white shirt. I never wear this on, on screen or on stream or on video or anything like that. Uh, but it is me, green screen lasty, to, uh, to bring you guys... My daily SBCs and all of that kind of grind for the rest of this episode. Um, and I wanted to get Rolfo completed. So we're going to work on that. And by the end of this episode, we're going to have uh, unlocked her. It's just 188 rated squad to go. But, you know, obviously we are pretty low on fodder. Um, we're just going to try and gain it back through the daily SBCs that come out and whatnot. Uh, it's also interesting that I've seen some, some chatter about... The exchange SBCs being a really good way to almost like carry on, repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, almost in like an infinite pack opening glitch or whatever you want to call it. Just like a, a method to, to open up lots of packs over and over again. Uh, so I might give that a little bit of a go tomorrow. Uh, but right here is a 1 of 3, 85 plus. Oh my god, Ronaldo. Uh, I do decide to just take 85 rated Benteke. And I think I saw a tweet yesterday. I think it was from Matt HD, where it was like this was the team of the week, uh, the team of the week ten years ago, and Ben Teke had a an Aston Villa in form. Would it have been Villa? I think it was. Uh, and he's also in in this week's team of the week, which is kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, obviously, the whenever we have the eighty four times five week rather than the eighty three times ten, we also get the eighty five plus player pick. Uh, and that has that's a, a nice way to just get one or two like top top tier high rated pieces of fodder into your club. Uh, I found that to be pretty useful, obviously for me trying to get an 88 rated squad for Rolfo. So uh, that's super super handy. Uh, I did then build 10 player picks. These are 81 plus player picks this week, of course. We start out with a Mappe Leon. I mean, just the perfect start to a batch of player picks. And follow that up with a Sandra Panos. We're, we're starting to get the entire women's Barca team in here. Um, and then, unfortunately, it just goes downhill. Uh, I thought I was on... I thought I'd, like, somehow unlocked the FIFA pack luck gods to give me a, a, an incredible batch of 10 players. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, after, after the 89 and 87, I'm not sure we get another walkout. 
Do we? Well, we'll have to find out. But it's sort of down in the 82s, the odd 83, maybe an 84, um, which, yeah, it's, it's just not much to write home about, really, is it? It's one of them that you sort of, you don't really want to get. You want to get 84 at minimum in these player picks um, for them to be kind of worth it. And you don't always manage to attain that, do you? But I have to call it a dub of a batch just simply because we got an 87 and an 89, more importantly. Like, that's super high rated, isn't it, really? Uh, so then this is the squad eventually that I've decided to put to, uh, to put through for the Rolfo SBC. I'm going to get rid of the 91 rated striker Courtois. I just don't seem to ever use him. And uh, it's a high rated piece of fodder that I am willing to let go. Uh, so welcome to the club, Fridolina Rolfo, who is an 89 currently with potential to go up to a, well, it could be potentially a 93 rated. But as we've sort of mentioned, or as as I've heard quite a lot of, um, she has been injured, is back in team training, but not necessarily, hasn't featured yet for a while, for, for quite a while actually. So whether or not she'll get the uh, goal and assist or appearances one, I doubt. But, um, you know, we just got to rely on Barca women to to win and score goals and stuff like that. Or for her as a left back, get some clean sheets uh, so that we uh, so that we can get maybe like a plus two out of her or something. But even as this 89 rated card looks solid enough, doesn't it? Like genuinely looks a really nice card uh, and does have a centre mid option. So I will be, uh, I think, replacing Madri with with Rolfo, I think, is, is the way that I'm going to play it. Maybe I'll play Madri and Rolfo. Drop Kimmich for a bit. Now, as I'm recording this, it's obviously it's before I'm going out to the Ipswich match Tuesday night. So uh, that, that's why I'm wearing the town shirt because we've got a match later. Uh, but of course, it is also Champions League night. So I don't know the outcome of Bayern Munich. Um, obviously, they lost their first leg to, was it Lazio or Napoli? One of the two. I'm not sure which Italian team it was. Um but I don't know if Kimmich, if if the if Bayern managed to turn it around, whether Kimmich is going to get any upgrades or not, or anything like that. I, I'm just unsure. So uh, you guys can let me know in the comments. Uh, and for now, I think I think the play might literally just be to either a straight swap for Rolfo, or I might take Kimmich out of the team because I've been using him a lot lately, and try Madri as the proper DM with Rolfo alongside, or I could try Rolfo as the proper DM. She's got higher defending there, and she's got really good strength as well. That might be the play. It might be the play to do Rolfo as the full-on proper centre defensive midfielder. Uh, she's got ping pass and trickster as well. Not that trickster's necessarily super useful uh, for a player like her, but maybe I can find a way to make it work or something. Who knows? Uh, but I did manage to get... How many more player picks here? I think I got like a random number. Yeah, like seven player picks together. I obviously didn't have much in my club to, to get any more done. I wanted to try and get a batch of 10, and I failed. But an 87 rated inform, that's good. 85 Laporte, that's good as well. And then the final one of these is going to be just an 83 Palinia. But an 87 inform kind of means that that's not a bad little batch, is it? Uh, with that, I then opened up uh, another Team of the Week player pick. We got ourselves an 86 Jota. Um, we'll literally just go into whatever the next SBC is. And I do my three 84 times fives for the day as well. We're going to get Sandra Panos and a double walkout with a team of the week behind it. And that is going to be an 89 Dybala. It's a pretty sick card to get. Uh, he might even be quite good. Should we give him a go? Before we end up putting him into an SBC, we could definitely give him a run out. The one play style plus is only a, a little bit of an issue and it's not the greatest, uh, Playstyle plus, is it? But yeah, anyway, we, we end up getting Dybala in form. He doesn't go for much, which is crazy. And uh, Sandra Panos in that one. In the next 84 times 5, I get myself French centre mid. That is going to be Lise Malou special. Yeah, that's Lise Malou in blue. Uh, and Araujo. So uh, we know that there's not going to be any other walkouts in the pack because obviously we've seen the blue here. That's part of the double walkout. Whereas if there was multiple gold walkouts, it would just be them showing up over the, the Fantasy FC. And then the final 84 times 5 for the day, we're going to get ourselves Lautaro. Oh, just Lautaro. So uh, 187 there. Not a double walkout or anything like that to, to get all happy and buzzing about. Which obviously means there's no Fantasy FC player in there either. 
three eighty four duplicates. Well, four eighty fours and 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 one eighty seven, uh, which is not necessarily ideal. But yeah, let me know. Do you reckon uh, is Kimmich going to get some sort of upgrade? Um, is he now going to be stuck at ninety? Let me know what you what what actually happened uh, and whether or not we should try Madri over him in the in the midfield. So Rolfo Madri in the middle, uh, and then play either one of them as the actual proper CDM and the other one can be like the ball playing one that gets forward. It kind of would make sense that Rolfo is the actual DM and then Madri is the one that can push further, right? I think so. But if you've enjoyed today's episode, please do me a small favor and just hit the thumbs up button. That'd be great. Subscribe as well to my channel if you're new. Cheers and follow me on social media. The links are down below. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Up a town and uh, hopefully... We'll have three points to talk about um, in the next video. I'll see you then. Peace.